Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. So today, I'm going to bring to you what's new in my closet. Listen, I just recorded this video and realized that <laughs> it was not focused. So we're going to start this over. So first, I want to first share with you that I finally got accepted into LTK. So I'm going to be able to share a lot more items with you girls because they're going to be linked to my LTK. This is going to be such a game changer for me because the struggle for me was linking things and kind of like being able to do things on my blog as well. Same thing with social media. When I wear certain things, people are asking me where I got it from. Can I link it? Couldn't link it, but now I can and I'm super excited. So let's get into the first thing in the video. And the first item is going to be something from my wish list, which are the Jimmy Choo Maceo 85 boots. I told y'all this last week. And I wanted these boots and that I probably was going to get them. And I was already contemplating on getting them. And I did. <laughs> so it's these right here. I'm going to pop in a video or a photo with me wearing them. But when I tell you these boots are absolutely gorgeous. As a tall girl, you'll see how they are on me. Let me tell you. Let me put one down because they're really heavy. When I tell you these boots are awesome, look at that. The heel is nice, chunky, kind of like Western a little bit. The front has like, let me see, can you guys see that? It's like a little square tip, but the actual boot is not square itself, like the top of the boot. Amazing. It has a little stretch piece in the back. They are over the knee boots. I kept saying thigh high, um, but they're over the knee, which is what, okay. As a tall girl, it is so hard to find an over the knee boot that is actually nice, okay? Something that is great quality, something that is going to last us for a long time, um, not stretch leather, like, I didn't want stretch leather. Leather. I wanted something that would be the same up and down. Since I have LTK now, I did link a lot of alternatives. And I did that on my Instagram and TikTok. Because a lot of the girls are saying, hey, can you, can you tag an affordable pair? Now, when I am linking any other item outside of the item that I got, it is still going to be money. Because I am still going to go for quality. It may not be $2,000, it may be $500, but it's still going to be the best quality for your budget, if that makes sense. The goal is not to buy a bunch of stuff and then eventually you got to like change it in like the next year or two. That's really not smart shopping to me. As a person who loves to shop, I'm always going to choose like the best quality. If I got something that is, for example, faux leather and people will say, oh, that's not great quality. It just really depends on what they're using and how you take care of your stuff. So I'm always going to link what I got first and then I'll trickle down and find other alternatives for you. But the boots are absolutely gorgeous. You guys know I already have them in the other color as well, but this was a must. Like, this was a must for me and I'm probably going to have these for so long and run them into the ground. <laughs> this thing is going to be a couple of tops that I got from Cos. I already opened it because I said I already did the video. And let me share it with you. I got another sweater from Cos. Cos has really nice wool sweaters, cashmere sweaters, uh, just nice quality. Cos does not have like the most trendiest pieces, I would say. I would say their pieces are more classic, like essentials. But this wool sweater, I should have got it in black, but you know your girl is never going to learn. She waited <laughs> until she went to the store and they didn't even carry the black. They only had the gray. So I got gray. Really, really nice sweater. I'll pop in a video or something because I think I tried it on in the store. Um, I didn't get to wear it yet, but a nice wool sweater. I got a size medium. It's all wrinkly now because I had it smashed in the bag. Jesus um, but it does have pockets. I got a medium because the large was kind of looking really boxy on the sides, but a really nice sweater, nice buttons, great quality girls. Great, great quality wool sweater. If you want something wool and it was only $135, I'm going to see, I probably won't be able to tag this exact one because I don't think LTK works with cost. But I'll still link it in the video 
to the actual website, if that makes sense. Um, so I encourage you guys to shop my LTK. I'm super excited that I got accepted into it. Um, and then the other shirt is a, is a wool turtleneck, plain wool turtleneck from Cos. Now, Cos turtlenecks are like 80 bucks, which is pretty pricey to me. Um, however, for the tall girls, this is the struggle with being tall sometimes. The sleeves are really long. So for the girls who are average height, I did link some of these in my LTK as well. You can grab those because they're like 40 bucks. But for the girls with long arms, even the short girls, sometimes they have longer arms. You probably have to pay the extra 40 bucks to get something that's going to fit your arms. Um, because what I'm noticing that a lot of brands are... Child, I don't know if they just skim it on the material, but the arms and the body of sweaters and shirts are so short. Like, and blazer. I'm like, I don't understand what's going on. Like, did I get the memo? Like, people's arms are shrinking. Literally, blazers I see, expensive blazers. The sleeves are so short. Like, I don't get it. They have a ton of colors in these. Simple, regular turtleneck. It's not the thickest. And I'm, I'm assuming that it's because it's merino wool. But it's nice. It's nice. A little pricey, but it's nice. <laughs> Which leads me to my next item. So I went to a consignment shop in Atlanta called Labels. And Labels, let's put some of this stuff away. Labels has a ton of designer things. This particular day, I saw a bag. Now, let me, before I get into the bag, I went to Banana Republic recently and saw they had really nice suede and leather bags, like little plain little hobo bags. And I was just like, this is really great quality. At the time, I thought they were like 280 or 290 or something like that. So I ended up grabbing the bag, not thinking anything of it. I thought it was nice. And I was like, oh, this is the Banana Republic bag. Really? Really? This is, now this is suede. This is what you call suede. This is suede, girls, okay? This is suede. To my surprise, I paid 100 bucks, right? I didn't realize it was new, and it was actually 380. So, look at this. Super, super nice. I'm standing on my tiptoes so you guys can see. Super nice bag. Okay, really nice bag. Really, really nice. I was looking in the mirror. <laughs> Super nice, guys. Like, you don't have to always buy a designer piece. Um, very simple. No logos, anything on it. Really nice. I don't know why this person sold this bag, but it's literally spanking brand new. Okay? Listen, I love it. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> Excited. So that was a win for me. The shop is called Labels again if you're in Atlanta. Um, if you're not in Atlanta, I don't know. You can probably find really nice vintage pieces and newer pieces at consignment shops in your area. And trying to go to a place in a more wealthier neighborhood because you probably end up with some really, really nice things. Um, so those are the, those, those pieces is what I got in new. And then the last item is my jacket from the Frankie shop. But this jacket, girls, I'm going to try it on again. I have on a skirt, so it's going to look a little weird. But baby, this is by far the best, the best jackets. <laughs> it's such a nice jacket. Hold on. Let me back up. <laughs> it's so dark in here. Hold on. Can you guys see that? This jacket is like so pretty. Oh my gosh. Like it's so pretty. It's the Chicago biker jacket from the Frankie shop. Very heavy. You guys know I have this in black already. So when I went to get this jacket, I had it in my bucket. And I was looking for like a silver bag or a silver pair of shoes. And it went out of stock in my buckets. 
So I was pretty pissed. But, you know, you sign up for that notification. Frankie Shop does a really good job at um, notifying you that something is back in sh uh, stock. That's why I really like shopping them. Now, I know they don't have, like, some of their stuff is really expensive and some is pretty affordable, I think. Um, but this is a really nice jacket. But sign up for their back in stock email and you'll get notification. And that's it. But that's all I got this week, guys, for you. Nothing crazy. Like I said, a lot of the stuff that I do buy is from regular brands. I make regular brands work for me. I'm always going to do that. And that is solely because a lot of the tall girl brands don't have a large selection of things that I like. So I just kind of make things work for me, which is why I have a tailor. If you don't have a tailor, you're doing yourself a disservice. Get creative. Look at Pinterest. See what your style is. And just start to build from there, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. A quick what's new in my closet for this month. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Make sure you guys are liking the video. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY. And my personal style blog, Coco Styles NYC. Okay. And Coco Styles NY for my style services. And I'm on Tickety Tickety Talk, Coco Styles NYC. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.